Every firearm ranging from handguns to assault rifles were taken in on Saturday at Grace Cathedral International in conjunction with the Nassau County Weapons Buyback Program. One of the reasons that they decided to return again to Grace Cathedral in Uniondale, we've had the highest rate of return of guns uh, in any other facility that they have utilized in the past. The program was initiated when Kathleen Rice assumed the position of district attorney. She has been working closely with Detective Sergeant Pat Ryder and Bishop Harris ever since to ensure that each buyback has a motto of promised anonymity. The idea of the program is that if we keep it anonymous, we'll have more people coming in. We use That's why we use a place like Bishop Harris's um, uh, congregation here um, because it's a safe haven for those to come and turn the weapons in. We want to all people that are returning these guns and to understand they're in a safe location. We're not here to interrogate them. We're not here to arrest them or challenge them on where they got the gun. What we want to do is get those guns off the street. The gun buyback here at Grace Cathedral is one of the many efforts being made by District Attorney Kathleen Rice and County Executive Ed Mangano in an effort to reduce gun violence on the streets of Hempstead and Uniondale. While it's hard to measure the progress in exact numbers, there are many who can attest to the fact that gun violence has diminished since these programs have started. Today, there has been a line down the street. That's good news and bad news. Uh, the bad news is that, yes, there are so many guns out there. The good news is that this is just one way that we're, uh, one step that we're taking to get those guns off the street. Not every gun becomes a crime gun, but those guns that are left in the home that gets burglarized, may get then taken into burglary and then used again in a crime later on. Today, we have approximately 75 guns already as of 10 o'clock this morning. Our program runs till 12 noon, and we already have people lined up around the building. The police department often says 90% of the crime is caused by 10% of the people. Days like these are purposed to, quote, send a message and take back the community. Janine Rousseau, Reporting.